Hello friends, welcome back. This is Amit from Magnet and today we are going to composite a CG helicopter inside a live action footage inside After Effects by using Element 3D. So first take a look what we are going to create today. So before we start, if you are new to this channel, I recommend you to check my videos and if you find those videos useful, please do subscribe this channel and turn the notification on. And here is the name for these people who has already joined me as a member. So if you really want to support me, you can also join me as a member. So let's get started. So we are going to use this footage and first we are going to take this footage into a new composition and we create this composition by using this footage so all the settings are remain same according to the footage and then we are going to track this footage so for this first we go to this window and then we go to this tracker window just enable this from here then we select this footage and then we click on this track camera button here and our tracking is done here so now we're going to choose some suitable tracking markers to make a solid and a camera. So maybe we select this one and then I press and hold the control button and click on here and maybe this one and this one and also this one. And then I just right click here and create a solid and camera. Okay, just like this. Okay, after we create this solid and camera, now we're going to have to normalize the tracking data. So in order to normalize the tracking data, I am using a third party script from the memo world called this Orient world. So if you have this Orient world, uh, it is very easy to install in After Effects. So you have just have to copy the script file and you go to your After Effects, whichever version you have. Just go to the After Effects install directory, then go to the support files and then you go to the script folder here and also you go to the script ui panels and you just paste it here and here is the file that is the orient world okay and when you install this orient world into your after effect directory you go to this windows button here and you have to enable this orient world from here and when you enable this maybe i enable this for you again here if you enable this you will get this Orient world maybe in your case it is floating so you just have to drop uh, anywhere you want so i'm dock this Orient world here and when you install the Orient world it is very easy to normalize the all the tracking data just you have to select your solid that you just create by using those tracking markers and then we expand this uh, area little bit here and you will find this apply button here just click on this button here and it will apply it and you can see that nothing is changed but it works internally so don't worry everything is right here okay so now if we make a solid for our element layer so we go to this layer new and create a new solid here and we name this as element and then we hit ok here and then we go to this effect and presets panel here and we go to this video copilot and we select this element effect okay here and now we go to this scene setup here so i have a helicopter model which i downloaded from the sketchfab so here is the model and if you want to download this element 3d model you can also download this model i also gave the link in the description down below and in this model i break this helicopter model into three parts where all the part represents this one is for the rotor and this one for this uh, paddle stand and the rear fin and this one for this body so for this rotor i set it into this auxiliary channel number one to animation and for this rear blade here you can see that this blade is also attached with the paddle stand so in order to just animate this rear blade you expand this first and then you go to this mesh view option here and then you identify which one is this rear blade so in order to identify just press and hold the control here in the keyboard and just click on this blade and you will get this one so this is the blade and i put this uh, into a channel number two auxiliary channel 
and now if you move or animate the auxiliary channel number two you can animate this rear blade okay so this is all ready so if you download this uh, model from the description down below you can, do not have to worry about all these settings because these things are ready for element 3d okay so this is the helicopter here and i'm also gave the actual model um, link in the description down below so you can also get the actual model and now i'm also change the environment so we just hit okay here and you can see that the helicopter is appeared here and also disable this solid so just disable this one or you can delete this because we don't need this solid anymore so just delete this one okay and here is the helicopter but you can see that it look very bad so first we go to this element layer and then we go to this group number one which holds this helicopter and then we go to this create a group null so just create this null object and this null object control our helicopter here so we rename this as so name this as helicopter and now if we press s in the keyboard and you will see this scale switch and we just increase this scale and now you can see that here it is and if we change the position from here you can see that it look nice and also we press this helicopter control and press R to bring the rotations and we rotate this here just like this okay so now we are going to make a screenshot of this actual footage to make a environment map so for this we just solo our background image here or background video here and set the resolution to full here and maybe we can go at here and then go to this composition and then save frame as and file and we change this to maybe png sequence here and hit ok and we render it here so we just render this and then we just click on this render button here and here is the file just drag and drop to here and then we just put it into a new composition here and then go back to our main composition and put this composition to here okay just like this and we go to this element layer and then go to this effect control panel and then we go to these custom layers go to this custom texture map and we select this texture here okay and then again we go to this scene setup and we go to this environment and we change this to here okay just like this and hit ok and now you will get a nice reflection of this environment from here okay and then we just hit ok the lighting is already matching our scene and now we also going to put a base layer here so for this again go to the scene setup and now we going to put a plane model here so we just go to this create button and make a plane here and we drag this plane model out from this group and set it to this group number five okay just like this and now we hit okay and here is the plane model here then we go to this group number five and then again we go to create a null object for this plane model so we just go to this group number five null and press p and also press s to bring the scale switch here and now we going to disable this scale uniformity switch here just disable this one and we now going to increase the scale here and also increase the scale from here just like this okay and then again we go to this null object and press r to bring this rotation values and also you rotate this okay just like this and now if we go back to our element 3d ui go to the scene setup here and now we're going to put a matte shadows material here so for this we go to this physical which is inbuilt matte shadow material from the element 3d just apply this material here okay just like this and now we hit ok here and now you can see our basement is gone here and now if we go down here and then go to this render settings then go to this ambient occlusion and if we turn this on you can get a nice ambient occlusion here but maybe we're going to use the ray trace one so we just select this ray trace ambient occlusion here and you will get a nice looking ambient occlusion here okay but now we're going to put a light to our scene so for this go to this layer new and create a light here and we use this spotlight here and intensity maybe something like this and also we use this shadow diffusion to maybe something like this 
and also make sure that you check on this box that is the cast shadows and just hit ok ok just like this and now we select this spotlight press p to bring this position and we change the position of this light just like this and in order to know the actual position of your light we going to enable the shadow so we go into render settings here again and go to the shadow tab and enable this one and we're not going to use the shadow mapping so we change this to ray trace here just like this and we also change the resolution to maybe half for now and also increase the shadow samples okay just like this and now we go to the light that is the spotlight and we change the light position from here and you can see that uh, we do not have uh, so many shadow reference here but if you look at here uh, the shadow you know, of this bar if we change this to full resolution here and you can see that the light is coming above from the top so if we put our light here so maybe we can put our light little top here it can matches the real world lighting here okay just like this and also we do one thing that you can see that our shadow is a bit too dark so for this go to this element layer then go down and you will find this matte shadow option here under the render settings under this render setting you will get this matte shadow and if you expand this matte shadow and you will see that the shadow opacity so we decrease this value to match the actual shadow just like this and you can see this shadow reference here just we have to match this shadow color from to here so maybe this look nice okay and also we go to this ambient occlusions here and we increase the spread little bit little bit and if you can see the difference here and also we do one thing that go to this advanced option and here we will find this AO light influence and if we increase this light influence here and you can get a nice tight ambient occlusion here okay so instantly it look really amazing and you can see that the anti-aliasing of this model is uh, very bad so if you do one thing that go to this output here and you will find this enhanced multi sampling so we just enable this one and you can get a nice clear result here and also we do one thing that go to this multi sampling and we change this to 16 here wow instantly it look very very amazing and also do one thing that go to the super sampling and change this to 4 wow and you can get a very nice looking helicopter here and also you can see that the light is too bright so we go to the spotlight here press t to bring the intensity and we decrease the light intensity so now you can see that uh, it matches the real world lighting or maybe we increase this little bit more and also we do one thing that go to the spotlight and press a a and here we find this shadow diffusion and we increase this one something like this and also we go to this element layer and go down and you increase this ray trace shadow samples and now you can see that it really look amazing and now if maybe if we go to this half resolution here and if we play this one so let me play this one for you and now you can see that it really look amazing so this is how you can just composite this helicopter here and changing some settings it really looks uh, realistic and now we're going to do the animations here and also we put some other assets here so for this first you go to this scene setup here and inside this uh, model pack here and you also get uh, some other assets so this is the roadblock something and I'm also download this uh, is from the mega scan and if you download this model pack you also get uh, this uh, elementary ready model from this model pack and I put this into group number two here for now and then we hit ok so here is this model here and then we again go to this group number two and now we're going to use this particle replicator 
so we expand this particle replicator and we change this particle replicator shape to 3d grid here and we decrease this y grid and also we change the z grid to maybe 2 and also we increase the x grid here so just like this and now here we again go to the scale xyz we going to increase this x scale here or for this compositing time maybe we disable the sampling here so we just disable this one and also we reset this multi sampling and also this super sampling to zero okay and then again we go to this group number two and we increase this z scale here and also increase the x scale just like this and then we go to this create group null to for this group number two and we create a null control here so here it is then we press r to bring these rotations and we okay and maybe we go here and we change the position or also maybe we rotate this and then we go to this element layer again and we also increase the z scale value here and we change the position so group number two press p to bring the positions and we change the position here and if you want you can put other assets here so it's all depends on you so just I show you that what else you can do here so and the uh, and the other advantage uh, that put those assets into these sides here that you can also get some vertical shadows from this so it also can make a nice illusion that these things are present really here so now if we place this one here and also we go to this element layer and we also increase the x scale a little bit more just like this okay and then again we go down go to the render settings go to this ambient occlusion and go down and also increase this light influence a little bit more and also we decrease this ray trace intensity a little bit down okay just like this and now you can see that if we go to this full resolution here and you can get a this nice compositing here and you can see that it really look amazing and it feels that like it is really present in here uh, but you can see that these things are so repetitive so we have to do some randomization here as well so we go to the group number two and go to this particle look here and then we go to this particle rotation and randomize angles and we change this y rotation randomization to maybe 180 degree and now you can see that it makes a little bit of randomization and also we change this random seed here just like this okay so now you can get a little bit of randomization here so now if we do one thing that we can see that these things are so linear here so we have to put little bit of little bit of variation here so we go to this random rotation xyz and go to this y rotation and we make a little bit of change here so just like this okay so now it look amazing and now we going to make a helipad sign here so for this we go to this composition and create a new composition here and we change the resolution to maybe 4000 by 4000 here and hit ok so here we make a helipad sign here so the basic helipad sign is look something like this so first we create a white solid here and just hit ok and now we're going to mask it here by changing this mask tool to elliptical mask and we go to the middle of this here and then we press ctrl and shift and hold the ctrl and shift and just drag my mouse here just like this okay and then we go to this mask and we also duplicate this mask one time and then we change this mask to 
to subtract here and then again we expand this mask to and go to this mask expansion and we decrease this value just like this okay here it is and now we going to make a h sign here for helicopter so we press a capital h here and we place this capital h at the middle of this circle so in order to place this h to the middle of this circle we enable this title action save here and we select this H and just place it at the middle just like this and you can put other uh, any information if you want here so I'm just leave it here and we disable this title action chef and go back to our main composition here and now we going to put this composition into our this main composition here so first we collapse all these layers and then we bring this to here okay just like this and we make it at the top of this element or maybe the bottom of this element layer and we make this 3d and now we select this composition and press a a to bring these material options and we change this except light to off okay and then we press r to bring this rotation value and we change the x rotation to maybe 90 degree just like this and then again we press s to decrease the scale of this and now you can see that it makes a nice helipad sign here so it's all depends on you that or oh, what other words you want to type here so but for this sake of this tutorial i just make a simple helipad sign here and we rotate this z axis so just align this one here just like this also put it here and now you can see that it not uh, really blend with this surface so we go to this blending mode and we change this to overlay okay just like this and also we change the color to little yellow here so we go to this composition and go to the effect go to the color correction go to the tint effect here and we pick this white color from here just like this or maybe we decrease this value okay just like this and now you can see that it really match with the scene okay and maybe our helicopter is not placed really well so we go to change the position of the helipad to middle of this helicopter here or maybe we can increase the scale of this helipad sign so we just increase this scale maybe okay so now finally we going to animate the blades so for this again go to this element layer and go to this group number one and go to this auxiliary channels and as i mentioned earlier that for this top rotor we set this to channel number one so we go to this auxiliary channel number one then go to the rotation and if we go to this y rotation and you can see that it rotate the blades so if i change this to half resolution here and we make a expression here so we just alt and hold the alt key and just click on this stopwatch here and press time and times maybe 5000 so let's see how much speed it will rotate so as you can see that it rotate anti-clockwise but if you see the helicopter rotor rotate uh, clockwise so in order to make it clockwise we put a minus sign here so now you will see that it uh, will rotate clockwise and which is real and also we do some rotation to this rear fin here so for this we go to this group channel number two go to the rotations and we change the rotation so maybe let's see which rotation will fit it not the z rotation maybe the x rotation okay so x rotation will fit so we make a same expression here so we just copy this expression from here and then we go to auxiliary channel number two x rotation here and just paste the expression here okay just like this and now you will see that it makes a nice helicopter blade rotations here 
okay and now we going to animate our helicopter so we have this null object which control this helicopter here so maybe we go to this helicopter null object and press p and we first we put our helicopter little top here or maybe little back here just like this and now we going to animate it over time so first we change the positions so we go to the very maybe 10 seconds here and we first we animate our helicopter here and then we put it down just like this not that much and we place our helicopter here maybe so let's see how it look so if we go to this element layer and maybe we disable some switch here so first we disable this ambient occlusion switch so it can run little faster so let's play okay so this look nice and now we're going to change some rotations as well go to this first frame here and first we go to this z axis and we rotate the z axis maybe here and also we change the y rotation to maybe here just like this and we make a keyframe here and then we go few frame here and also we change the z rotation to maybe here and also we change the y rotation and here maybe we again we first we copy these two animation keyframe here so we just copy this one by pressing ctrl c and we paste it here and then we go here and also we change the z axis to maybe reset this z axis uh, rotation and also we change the y rotation to maybe here just like this and now if we select all these keyframes and press f9 to make this easy is keyframe and let's see how it look like now okay so here you can see the animation here and it uh, look little bit of weird uh, but i'm show you that how you can uh, make this kind of animation so you just have to tweak some settings from here so maybe we put this from here or and also we can maybe randomize some rotations here as well as and also we go here and maybe we change the rotation a little bit here so now maybe we again go here and also we rotate this to this angle or maybe we offset these rotations so make a little bit of random rotations here so maybe not this one maybe the y rotation maybe not that much just like this so now if we play it again okay so our animation looks something like this and maybe we can change some settings here as well so it's all depends on you but uh, just sake of this tutorial i'm showing you that how you can manage this animation so you can see that when the helicopter lands the animation of the helicopter is not so linear so you can make a little bit of a random rotation to your helicopter and it will make a nice result to your scene okay so now you can see that uh, this look nice so this is how you can make this kind of helicopter animation and also in my actual video i put some rocks uh, which also can rotate with this rotor but which is uh, not exactly the realistic but uh, because we have the power of cgi so we can do whatever we want 
so let's see uh, what we have here so go to this element and go to the scene setup here so in my previous uh, tutorial i have some rock models uh, so i'm also gave this rock model into the description so you can also get those models from there so these rock models i downloaded from the mega scan so i just use these rock models here as well so you can use other rock models if you have so just click here and this one here and also this one and i put those rock models into group number three here so we place those rocks into group number three and just hit ok here and here is the group number three just expand this one and first we go here and go to the particle look first we decrease the particle size from here and then we go to this particle replicator and change this to ring okay and then we increase the particle ring count here and then we change the count here so maybe something like this and also we put this uh, group number three to little higher but before that uh, we make a null object so we go to this group utility and create a group null here so just create this null object here here is this null and press p and we put it little top here just like this okay and then again we go to this element layer and go to this shape scale and we increase the shape here and also we go to this layers we have one layer so we increase this layer to maybe four and then we go to this layer offset we decrease this offset here just like this okay and also we go here that is this particle look and go to this particle rotation go to this randomized angle and we rotate it into different angle here to make here some random look here just like this and also we go here that is the shape option and there is the layer distribution we also increase this value here to make a little bit of more variation here and then also we go to this particle look and go to the particle size random we increase this to 100 percent so we get a nice variation to size and also we maybe we decrease this size just like this and then we again we go to this group null and put it little higher here just like this and in this case because our helicopter is moving so we go here and maybe we go to this group number three and make a keyframe here and also we change this position rocks model and maybe we place it here and then also we go to this element layer then go down to this group number two and go to the uh, i mean the group number three and then go to this scatter option and maybe we scatter this little bit here just like this and maybe we increase the particle count and then we go to the very end here and we go to this helicopter null object and press p to bring its position and just copy these values here so maybe we just copy this value just copy and paste it here and also we copy this value and paste it here and copy this value and paste it here okay just like this and we select this group uh, number three null object and put it little higher here and just like this so let's see and maybe we drag this keyframe here so now if you see that uh, it can also follow the position of the helicopter here uh, but as you can see that uh, it looked really bad because our helicopter is moving and also rotating itself but we can't rotate uh, those rocks according to the helicopter because it will not fit with the physics 
but you can get the idea so this will be best fit when the helicopter is static in a position and you just put those rocks here but i just want to show you that how i make those rock effects here so and also i do one thing i can press r after selecting this null object and if i rotate this you can see that it also rotated so i do one thing that i make expression here so press and hold the alt key and just click on here and type time times maybe minus uh, 500 so let's see and you can see that all the rocks also moving with the blades and also we uh, put some individual rotation to the rock so for the individual rotation we go to this element layer then go to the group number three go to the particle loop and here you will find this random rotation so if you rotate um, change the value you will see those rocks are individually rotate uh, randomly so again we put some expression here or we maybe put some manual keyframe here so make a keyframe at the beginning and go to the very end and we change the value here okay so just like this so this is the idea behind this and i am again telling you that this effect is not suit when the helicopter is moving like this so i'm just showing you and if you uh, if you want to make this effect i recommend you to just uh, static this helicopter into a position just like i did in my video and put those rocks there and this will make a nice effect to your scene just like my actual video so this is how you can make this and now finally we're going to do one thing that we're going to enable the motion blur so we go to this element layer and then we go to this motion blur and we enable this one here and also we do one thing that we go to this helipad sign here there is the helipad sign and we also check this motion blur switch for this one and you can see that uh, this the motion blur look something like this so we going to increase the samples so we go to this element layer again and go down and we can first we increase this shutter angle just like this and we also increase these samples to maybe 16 and we do one thing that our rocks are moving so fast so we go to this group number three and then we go to this y rotation and expand this and we maybe decrease this rotation value to maybe 100 and as you can see that this look really weird so for this time i am disable this group number three rocks but i will show you that how you can also do this rock effect here so but um, uh, this kind of scene when the helicopter is moving this uh, look totally fake so i'm not using this one but i just show you that how you can also do these things so this is the whole scene here and again we go down and we enable the ambient occlusion that we disabled previously so just enable this ambient occlusion here and you will get a nice scene here so this is how you can do this kind of live action vfx scene by using element 3d and you can see that uh, if you have a nice camera then your tracking will be very nice and also if you enable this multi sampling or enhance multi sampling like this and you will get a nice crispy result to your scene okay so this is all about this tutorial so i hope you really get the idea and this is a very simple tutorial and if you don't have this orient world you can also get the project file in the description down below and you can also download those models from the sketch fab and if you want this elementary ready model you can also download my project file so this is for today and i hope you really enjoy this tutorial so we will see in my next video so till then take care and bye bye